How to explain the success of Alabama's Crimson Tide. The college football team favored to grab its third national title in four years on Monday. Matthew Futterman has been digging into the, this phenomenon. He's right here beside me. Hey there, Matthew. How are you? Uh, good, but maybe not as good as Alabama and its coach. I mean, this, this college sports, especially football, they're not supposed to have dynasties, but the Crimson Tide, they pretty much have one at this point. At this point, they're pretty close, especially if they win this game. That'll give them three titles in four years, and that's really not supposed to happen. It's, it's really difficult to win in any, win consistently in any sport these days. But if you think about it with college, the players don't hang around all that long. Right. They, they're, they're there for a few years, and then they go to the pros. That puts a premium on coaching, and it puts a premium on having someone like Nick Saban who's there, who's just done sort of a masterful job in the perfect place. Let's talk a little bit about what Saban has done. People say he operates almost like a CEO. How, how Explain that to us, and how is that different from the way other college coaches can perform? Well, I mean, I think it, it, college football today demands that kind of structure. Uh, you know, he is very tightly overseeing every aspect of his program. And, you know, he, there's not really a stone that goes unturned. He has, at times, you know, keeps this uh, a motivational expert on the sidelines to give him pointers on what he should say at halftime. So, uh, you know, you have a coach and a trainer who's, who are looking out for the physical aspects of his students. He has a guy there who's talking to the players throughout the game. You know, what are they thinking? What are they feeling? What do they need to be told? by their leader and at halftime. And these players are listening to this leader because he has such a reputation of getting his players into the NFL, which is what these guys want. Right. I think it was four Alabama players went in the first round last year. Uh, I think that was the same t the year before that. Uh, it, it's, it is the pipeline right now in terms of a college team. And they play in the conference, the SEC, which is, is certainly the closest thing the NFL has to a minor league. And Saban is just, he's relentless when it comes to recruiting. I mean, he just, I mean, he will go after them two years before they're even about to co go into college. Right, well, probably further than that. <laughs> uh, you know, although there's limitations on how much a coach can do, there is contact as long as it comes from the student. Right. Uh, so, you know, messages get sent out, oh, he'd be interested in you right. so they can call. So contact can become established. Alabama, Alabama coaches show up in Montana, they show up in New Jersey, they show up in Utah, they show up not only in those places, but also in the true football hotbeds, places like Ohio and Florida, and they've shown a remarkable ability to pluck the best players from those areas and bring them to Alabama. And not just the superstars that are evident to everybody in the high school scene, but they're picking people that you might not have looked at, the bigger teams might not have looked at, and making them into stars. Well, here's the big puzzle. So you get to the point where you're Nick Saban and you're Alabama, and you can basically pluck all the best players right. and get them to play for your team. It doesn't necessarily work so well. Uh, having every, every coach knows you don't, having a roster of superstars and sort of quasi-celebrities doesn't necessarily create the best mixture. You also need the, you know, the blue collar guys, the really hard working guys that are, that are gonna impose a certain ethic. He's been able to find those guys as well. As, you know, one of his offensive linemen is gonna be playing Monday night, Chance Warmack. You know, wasn't really right. recruited right. out of Georgia uh, a, a few years ago, and now he's probably looked at as just about the best offensive lineman in the country. Very successful formula. Very quickly, who's your money on uh, when they go up when Alabama goes up against Notre Dame on Monday? Uh, I'm going to insult the uh, our new fearless leader Jerry Baker, who is a <laughs> diehard Notre Dame oh. fan. But uh, it's going to be hard to, to bet against Alabama and the SEC at well, this point. Well, I don't know if I'll see you back here on Tuesday, Matt. But thanks it's for possible. being here. Okay, <laughs> right. thank you.